Hey everyone, welcome to the industry show. I'm your host, Nitin Bajaj, and joining me today is Ajita Chopra. Ajita, welcome on the show. Hi, Nitin. Thank you for having me. Pleasure is all ours. It's been way too long. This should have happened many, many years ago. Right? We've are. been trying for so long. I know, but here we are. So let's start with who is Ajita? Ajita is a daughter, a wife, a daughter-in-law, and a mom. And more so a mompreneur right now. Mm-hmm. For the past 15 years. It's amazing. Only a few hats that you wear. Oh, yeah. I think I counted the other day and it was like 12. <laughs> And you're doing pretty awesome. Having known you for so many years, you're doing pretty awesome at every single one of them. <laughs> yes, we have been very blessed um, and very grateful for all the opportunities that have come along these years. You're too humble. Let's talk about what do you do for a living? So I'm an event planner mm-hmm. and I've been doing this for the past 15 years. You know, I've been there um, in corporate America and uh, for, you know, a good five, seven years and then decided um, after we had our daughter that, you know, this is not working out the nine to five and I need a little bit more flexibility for work-life balance, take care of family, um, you know, elderly parents and things. So I said, you know, this will be a good um, career choice because it'll also help me um, build or enhance and also um, be able to use the creative side of Ajita. Mm -hmm. True. So you get into event planning, you bring dreams to life and uh, I've been a part of a few of those uh, that you've done but tell us about you know why do this right why events why uh, you kind of hinted at it uh, in terms of allowing uh, events to uh, bring your creativity out mm-hmm. but it's also not an easy thing to do right there's so many moving parts so many emotions feelings things that can and do go wrong so tell us why events you know, events, but, you know, Nathan, not only I do more than just weddings, you know, sure. um, we keep it pretty diverse um, mm-hmm. where we're bring, we're doing corporate events, charity mm-hmm. events, um, social celebrations like milestones, and of course, weddings. And we have to um, do so, so that, you know, because weddings, like you said, involve a lot of emotions. Mm-hmm. It's a once in a lifetime celebration. And we have to make sure that we bring their most important day of their life um, to life, you know, their vision to life. And it takes a lot of planning, thought, uh, listening to your client. So you're delivering exactly what they want because it's a one shot. Yep, no pressure. No pressure. (laughs) And there again, you know, that's why we also work with the best teams possible because at the end of the day it takes a village true it does and uh, right college (laughs) so true especially when well i guess in weddings two families involved the yes alignment and you know that honestly you're mediating you're um wearing a lot of hats you know you're a psychologist (laughs) you're a friend, you're, you know, so many things. And, um, but you know, that's the joy, right? We do this because we have a passion for it. And yeah. yeah. Give us a sense of the, you mentioned, you know, three, four, five different kinds of events. Give us a sense of the size and scale of your operations, you know, how many events or even the geographies you work with. Yeah, we we try to remain local to Southern California. Mm-hmm. Uh, we plan about 12 to 14 events a year wow. because we believe in quality and not quantity. Mm-hmm. And our clients are 
basically their referrals, mm -hmm. their um, repeat clients, um, you know, and so we don't really, we're not, we're always having leads through within our network. And by keep, you know, by having the various types of events, it keeps it interesting for me, my team and the vendors, you know, to, it's to bring uniqueness into our year. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. When you look at, you know, there is a lot of creativity happening. There's a lot of uh, excitement around these events, whether it's a wedding or even, you know, something to do with charity. Mm -hmm. When you think of, as a business owner, the one big challenge you have, what would that be? Well, I'm going to tell you what our challenge is um, in the wedding field. Mm -hmm. Our couples are relying so much on social media mm -hmm. as their inspiration that they come to us with like their Pinterest board and we're looking at all these photos and we have to educate them that all this prettiness that you're seeing comes with a steep cost, mm -hmm. you know? So let's talk about budget. Let's, let's get, you know, we try to bring it down where it's more realistic and practical. So it's constantly educating our clients on, you know, how we can design, plan and design their events to look beautiful without breaking the bank. Mm -hmm. But also balancing that budget across the board. So all the money is not spent into, you know, one place. And honestly, clients usually come to us saying, you know, they've chosen this venue and they've put their entire budget into the venue, leaving us with barely nothing to work with. Right. So, you know, we, we really have to um, constantly educate our client on, on the reality. So you're also playing the financial advisor. Yes, <laughs> yes. And that's that's like 75%. Yeah. The other challenge we have is also um, bringing value to the parents mm -hmm. of a planner. You know, because growing up, they didn't see this. This wasn't the norm. And, you know, couples today see the value because they mm -hmm. don't have time. The parents like, oh no, we'll help out. We'll have our relatives pitch in. You know, that's the joy of having a wedding in the family. But they don't realize that extended family also want to enjoy the event. You know, so it's not fair to give them like these really big responsibilities on the wedding day where they don't get to actually enjoy. So I, we always are. Um, talking to the parents to, you know, to let them know that our goal is for you to come to as a guest at mm -hmm. your own event. That's our mission statement. Yeah. Come relax, enjoy, have fun. Yes. This is your party to enjoy, not your party to work. And knock on wood. So far we have been able to <laughs> manage that. Now on the flip side of challenges come opportunities. What's the most exciting one the most exciting one okay, i'm going to show off a little please four months um after enduring a um a serious health crisis mm -hmm. this opportunity fell in my lap and i get a phone call to plan a wedding internationally wow and that too it was january and the wedding was going to be in september Mm -hmm. and I at first thought oh my gosh how am I going to do this international language barrier time difference mm -hmm. you know all of those things against you and um the entrepreneur in me just said I do think you can do this <laughs> and I immediately said yes and sure enough jumped right in even though I had a full load that year mm -hmm. I'm like this doesn't happen every day True. and managed to plan it all in less than five months wow. and got acknowledged internationally and 
um, nationally through publication, Harper's Bazaar and Vogue India. Mm -hmm. And it was the most rewarding experience ever. And my client, I mean, the most humble, kind, caring people, which made it a lot easier. That is really amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. And I think it's it's those moments and the decisions we make right, that uh, define us as entrepreneurs and kind of getting out of our comfort zone and, and going into those spaces where we've not been before that helps us grow. Right. Absolutely. That's really cool. Let's talk a little bit of history, I would say. And uh, on one end, continue to brag a little bit and talk about uh, an experience that blew your own expectations and became a success beyond your definition. And on the other end, something that did not work out as you had expected and became a lesson. Hmm. Yeah, you know, we've been blessed with so many successes it's hard for me to really mm -hmm. pinpoint but most recently um i think um ending the year actually with a with a big bang was um something extremely rewarding because we've been planning this event for a year and a half mm -hmm. and um it, you know, every, the the planning stage, because it was so stretched out, I felt, oh my gosh, are we going to make it to the finish line? <laughs> but then the last six weeks, I mean, everything just fell into place. <laughs> and it ended up being phenomenal. So not only was my team blown away, but it also ended the year so, on such a high note that they're so excited to kick off this next year. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, it, it can yeah. be tough with such a long timeline to keep people focused. Right, right. And and then so many moving parts, right, mm -hmm. in our in our line of work. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and we worked with like over 32 vendors wow. over you know four or five days. And we're like, oh my goodness, how is this all going to come together? And sure enough, you know, we just hustled it out, you know, even though it was the holidays and mm -hmm. boom. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. In terms of, you know, um, something that turned out to be a life lesson, it's really hard for me to, to even think of anything that was a failure, mm -hmm. you know, um, the main thing is like, go with your gut, you know, mm -hmm. listen to your gut because sometimes when you don't, it, it doesn't work out. So mm -hmm. I say it's so important to follow your instincts and, 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 and listen to your heart too. Because at the end of the day in this business, and then it's, it's a personality fit. It's True. people, right? Yes. And you just have to align. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure it's 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 the right fit. I agree. Yeah, and I think at least growing up in an Indian traditional Indian family, the going with the gut didn't really have a place. Mm -hmm. You had to have a plan, which was, you know, based on reasoning and logic, and going with your gut was at least in in my case and in a lot of my friends was a no-go. And I'm really thankful for having learned that, the importance of it, and at the same time, having the ability to share that with our kids. Right. You know, like just, just go for it, right? What's the right. worst case? Yeah. Because it's important to do something and maybe even be wrong, mm -hmm. then not do it and have regrets. Right, right. 
I completely agree with you. You know, I grew up the same way. I'm also an immigrant, right? I grew up in yeah. Africa. And, yeah. you know, I think coming to this country and having the opportunity to grow and and follow your dreams mm -hmm. um, and step away from that sheltered upbringing, I think it's so important that we instill that same type of um, confidence, you mm -hmm. know, in our children. So true. Because it's so important. So talking about children, talking about lessons, I would love to transition into my favorite part of the show, which is the one-line life lessons. Oh. I'd love for you to share a few of your life lessons with us. Okay, I don't know if they're one-liners, but um, sure. listening is an art. Mm -hmm. Work hard, play hard, drink hard, but dr press juice shots. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen to your mind, your body, and your heart. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what else? Be kind. Thanks, Ajita, for sharing those lessons. And, uh, you know, they're, what I love about these lessons is they're simple, but they're profound. Mm -hmm. And if we pause and think and reflect on those, they, for me, and I know a lot of others, based on the feedback we've got, they're life-changing, right? And it's these choices and decisions that we make that change the course of who we are, who we become. Uh, as we continue to improve. And uh, yeah, so that's essentially how these came into being and have taken a life of their own. So really appreciate you sharing your journey, your story, and uh, congratulations again for all the continued successes. Thank and you. Uh, glad we made this happen and uh, would love to bring you back on and talk about more of your stories. Sure. Maybe the philanthropic side. Yes, I would love that. That's how we met. Exactly. Yep. So let's do one here in, in some time on your 13th hat, I believe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, just, uh, thank you so Good much. Pressure. It was a, Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. It was a real pleasure right. to have you here. Likewise. And, thank uh, you, Nathan. Thanks a lot.